Thank you very much. Thanks. Well, the Dallas Police and Fire Pension Board may ask the city, in other words, taxpayers, to pay more than $1 million. Uh, and it has to do with uh, kind of a complicated issue having to do with members who returned from military service. This is just the latest dispute involving the whole troubled fund that could cost taxpayers. Dan Godwin's live with more. Dan. <sighs> And Lauren, this police and fire pension fund crisis, one of those stories that just seems to go on and on, but a resolution may be in sight. Now, as you and Tim mentioned, the pension board scheduled to meet this morning. Their main issue today, a claim that the fund is owed $1.4 million by the city. Now, on Wednesday, the Dallas City Council took up a separate pension issue. The council was ready to pass a resolution declaring the city only supports a legislative fix to the pension crisis that doesn't require more money from Dallas taxpayers, but the city attorney recommended that resolution be set aside. The deputy mayor pro tem says talks are underway in the state capitol to craft a Senate bill that could resolve the crisis. The situation in Austin is fluid, it's moving. Uh, progress, we're optimistic that progress is being made, and we did not want to jump in front. Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings is not offering specifics on the progress he says is being made. He said in a statement, nothing is final and more work needs to be done, but thanks to the strong leadership of Senators West and Huffines, I am optimistic we are close to a resolution, but nothing is ever simple with the pension crisis. As we mentioned, the pension board meeting today. Now, it is claiming that the city never paid into a fund for members who are returning from the military. And again, board members say the fund is owed $1.4 million by the city of Dallas. The meeting set to get underway at 8.30 this morning. Reporting live near downtown, Dan Godwin on Good Day.